さんこんにちは夏美です。Happy Valentine's Day soon. Here in Japan on the Valentine's Day, usually girls give chocolates or some sweets to boys. I thought that was a good idea to share you a chocolate recipe, but really healthy recipe. We're not gonna use any butter or sugar, but it's really satisfying. It's a good recipe even on a diet. I eat that a lot even on my diet as well. This recipe is pretty easy and simple. It only takes two minutes before baking. It takes 10 minutes or so to bake. So I only eat 12 minutes, 13 minutes less than 15 minute cooking. You don't need any special ingredients. It's a pretty simple recipe, so please try that and hope you like it. So I'm gonna make the chocolate sweets for me today. I'm not gonna give you anybody, it's for me, but I'm gonna share the recipe to you. So it's a Valentine gift to you, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense or not, but if you're ready, let's. Go to the kitchen together. Here's the ingredients 30 grams of oats. I like using oat flour, but you can also use oatmeal instead. 80 milliliters of almond milk. You can also choose any milk you'd like. One egg, 20 grams of cocoa powder, 30 grams of dried dates. I used six dates this time, and a small piece of chocolate for each cake. I used dark chocolate since I like bittersweet taste. All you need to do is put the ingredients in the blender cup and mix them all together. I forgot to take a video of putting the egg in, but I put an egg in too. Sorry. Pour into heat resistant cups and push pieces of chocolate into the dough. That's it! Put those in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 360 degrees Fahrenheit, for about 10 minutes. While we are waiting, let's talk about Valentine's Day. Otherwise, this video is gonna be really short. It's a pretty easy recipe, isn't it? So Valentine's Day in Japan, as I said, it's usually girls give chocolates or sweets to boys, especially to who you like. There is a white day on 14th of March in Japan. This is the day the guy give the presents or sweets or flower or anything back to the one who gave the present to him. That's the culture in Japan. And recently, it's not only for boys and girls, but also like as an appreciation, we give the chocolates to co-workers, at school students give chocolates to each other it doesn't matter boys or girls which is fun how about in your country your culture i'm interested in your culture about the valentine's day i know in some countries or regions it's opposite there should be more different ways about the valentine's day if you can please write about the valentine's day in your culture on the comment okay i think lava cake is done let's see what it's like a little bit squishy inside will be perfect for the melting texture. It's easier to take out from the container if you let it chill for a bit. Let's try this out. I'm so excited. Itadakimasu. Oh, it looks good. Oh my gosh. Look at the inside. It's lava. Ooh. Let's try. Mm. It's perfect. It's nice and bitter, which I like. I just used all natural ingredients, no additives or any sweeteners. If you'd like to put sweeteners instead of dates, it's gonna be lower calorie. But this time I just wanted to use the natural ingredients. It's super healthy. This is about less than 150 kilocalorie each, which is really low calorie for such a delicious cake. I think you can eat pretty much every day. <laughs> Is that healthy? If you'd like to take out the paper part, I recommend you to chill for a little bit after baking, maybe like less than 10 minutes or so. If you use a container which doesn't need to take out, like for example, like the mug or something you can use for the oven, you can just eat right after. It's a nice dessert in the winter as well because it's uh, warm. Of course, you can chill it for a little bit in the refrigerator. It's gonna be a different texture, which is really good. Mm. 
It's so good. I can probably sell this. The time for heating up is depending on the oven. So please try maybe like less than 10 minutes first. If it's too liquidy, you can add just a little bit. But try not to bake it too hard. Last bite. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video and the recipe. Please comment if you have any plan for Valentine's Day or about the Valentine's Day of your culture. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put on the comment. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to push the like button as well. Thank you for watching. Koshi arigatou gozaimashita. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day!